so this is a very interesting layer to very. this game as far as I'm <laughs> concerned because straight up Texans Titans I don't know who I think is going to win right? right like I mean either team they're both good is the point that I'm making but if the Texans do decide to pull some people out at some point that could change the whole complexion of this sixth seed how do you see it going it is and it's smart football but I think it depends on the Chiefs the Chiefs play the earlier game to the third seed I think that would help a little bit depending on who you play against but if the Chiefs win which they played before the Texans then it's smart to rest players, especially when you've got a healthy squad. You know you got to work on some things. You've been running these plays all year long. You may see tweaks here and there on the offense or the defensive side of the ball. But if you don't have your veteran squad, veteran coaching staff, health is key. So you, your point there is that they don't have to worry about the momentum of playing Not this all. week because they can – ramp it up. They've been here before. Comes. They've won that division three times. They've been in the playoffs. They know what they need to do, but if they don't have their star players or players that can change the game, it doesn't really matter how much energy or, or momentum you have. You mentioned J.J. Watt. He shouldn't play this week, right? No, I don't think he is slated to play this week, and if he is, I mean, I would be... I would, if you don't need him, you're already in the playoffs. You already are going into the playoffs. You don't need to lose him. This is just week 17 for them. Well, another team that will be keeping an eye on this one, scoreboard watching perhaps, though I'm sure they won't admit that, that's the Steelers who are playing a Ravens <laughs> squad that is resting its starters. You will not see Lamar Jackson or Mark Ingram in this one. Nope. You will see Aditi Kinkabala right now with the latest for Pittsburgh. Get your boys in tow. Sure. So Joe and Tom, Tom Brady, Brady. No Jim Trotter is a Hall of Fame voter. Didn't vote for this list, but we're going to give you a chance to do it now. Eight quarterbacks <laughs> vote. <laughs> Good, but look, let, let's do this in alphabetical order to make it easy, so I'm not showing any favorites. Okay. Here. My list, my 10, would be Terry Bradshaw, okay. Drew Brees, well. John Elway, okay. Brett Favre, mm -hmm. Otto Graham, yep. okay. Peyton Manning, yep. Dan Marino, Joe Montana, one more left, and Johnny Unitas. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Okay, so I've been following along who didn't make yeah, it. Yeah, I was going to say. No Aaron Rodgers. He did not make the cut, and Steve Young did not make the cut. That's a and tough I think one. all the, the tweets exactly. and things. Sorry to do this to you. Probably yeah. just make the list a little bit longer, so you can add a couple more games. Yeah. I mean, it's tough. Roster limitations, you know? <laughs> I, 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 I see. NFL 100 all-time I get it, yeah. I see. But I'll say this. The one thing that bothers me about the list is the lack of active players. We've only got two on there. I should have been on this list. only player with multiple 20-sack seasons ties Reggie White Three. with four he seasons of 16 or more sacks. Yeah. Do you want to make a case for anyone? JJ? Well, there's a lot. There's a lot of guys. There's a lot. Yeah, so many. We don't have time. Thanks for joining us.